Kuhn. Oh, lovely change of pace in a one. And the finish, everyone looks to the assistant, the flag stays down. And I said he loves a goal against Livingston. And dies in Maeda, hair or no hair. He made that himself with a run and finished it perfectly. And Celtic have the lead. One ball forward and no one's picked up Mackay. And he slams the ball into the back of the net. Well, where was the Celtic defence? As the high ball came over the top, absolutely no one picking up Daniel Mackay. Comes in. Good play from Kuhn. Celtic have players forward. Moki furthest forward, and Bernardo goes down looking for the free kick, but in steps Kuhn. Now look at the players that are there. Matt O'Reilly teeing it up for himself with the shot blocked. O'Reilly back in there, shot at goal, is saved, and the goalkeeper's put it into his own net. Dyson Maeda with the head up. I think this one will go down as an own goal. With 21 and a half minutes gone, and Celtic have the lead. And now Greg Taylor to Bernardo. the middle this time to Maeda goes down the challenge of Nottingham Celtic have it again Tomoki playing that number six role vacated by Callum McGregor to say you don't mention that off goal oh. Matt O'Reilly caught out offside surely against Yenge Matt O'Reilly comes back He's found the back of the net, what a finish that is from Yenge. I wonder if they come back and look at the offside. Both scales there being sandwiched in the aerial challenge. Maeda. at the final five minutes there will be a few minutes extra you would imagine first time cross from Alistair Johnson headed away to the edge of the box and cleared away by Shinny and as far as Welsh and now Tomoki Johnson Tomoki it must be and it is top ten and it's a hat-trick for Dyson Maeda 85 minutes gone and Celtic finally find a way through for the third goal. Oh, has Kyogo broken the offside trap? And if he has, he's through on goal. It must be the fourth for Celtic, and indeed it is, but the whistle's gone. And the flag's up. No. Yeah. Go given. He'll go. Has his goal. VAR confirms that Kyogo was indeed onside. It must be the back, the trailing leg there. You were right of um, Sean Kelly. 